Hello everyone, my name is Professor Dina Virist and I'm the Deputy Director at the Biomedicine Discovery Institute uh, within the Faculty of Medicine at Monash University and I, I also run a research lab and I have an external role which is probably uh, an important one to mention. I'm the President of the Australian Society for Microbiology. We have about 2,000 members and that represents microbiologists all around Australia. My research is focused on infections of the gut and how they intersect with the use of antibiotics and antibiotic resistance. The research that we do in my lab really couldn't have been done 20 years ago. We just did not have the tools that we are using now and which allow us to make the breakthroughs that we are making. 20 years ago, we also didn't have an understanding of what antibiotics do to our microbiome. So our gut is full of mostly good microbes that protect us and work with us to give us healthy um, outcomes. Uh, antibiotics disrupt those microbes. And as a consequence of that disruption, there are other microbes that can come in and cause disease. We didn't really understand that very well 20 years ago. We didn't understand the role of the microbiome in protecting us from disease. We have a better understanding now. There's a long way to go, but we do have a much better understanding now. And I guess the other factor that is really important uh, is the, the experimental tools that we have now. We have proteomics, we have genomics, we have animal models that we can use. So we can really move our research forward because we have these amazing tools and platforms to use for the studies that we want to do. The breakthrough moment in my research, which has really led to the research program that we're conducting in my laboratory at the moment, was in understanding that a lot of the work that we do in the lab using synthetic systems really doesn't give us the answers that we need to understand infections within a host, within a human host or within an animal host. And I guess in my own work, we had a big breakthrough in that it, it was thought that particular virulence factors were really important for disease. Um, in gut infections and actually when we started studying them in molecular detail and using appropriate hosts, we discovered that the ones we thought were important weren't so important. It changed the diagnostic market, it changed the therapeutic market, it changed the way that we conduct our research. And so that was a real breakthrough moment that really turned our work on its head, but also had an impact on that sort of work around the world with particular microbes. We understand the diseases that we're studying better. When we have a better understanding of the diseases, we can develop diagnostic strategies that diagnose people better so that we can get treatments to them better, much more quickly. Um, we can develop more appropriate therapeutics. And so for a lot of the infections that I study, it's really important that we move away from the use of antibiotics for these infections because antibiotics, as we all know, antibiotic resistance is becoming a huge problem around the world. So for the sorts of infections that I study, we want to find therapeutics that are not antibiotic based. And by understanding the microbes and the way that they cause disease, we can develop therapeutics that are not antibiotic based. And actually that's what we've done. And we work with a lot of industry partners to achieve those outcomes and to develop non-antibiotic therapeutics. Monash has actually been a terrific place for me uh, to develop myself and my research. So I've been very well supported at a personal level. It's a great environment for promoting research excellence because we have so many people who do excellent work and research of very high standard. At, at, at a personal level too, I think Monash is very supportive of women in science, which is a really 
important thing at this time and it has been for a quite a long time and we're seeing a lot of women who are doing very well in science and progressing and I really love that about this environment that I feel supported and I can do my research but I feel supported at a personal level as well.